Right, hi guys. This video is with regards to Davy Human Rights, who was arrested while out photographing in a public place in Scotland. Um, he was there to take pictures of a prison and an engineering company. And uh, the security guards from the engineering company end up calling the police. Uh, we believe there may have been a phone call from the prison as well with regards to him photographing outside of the prison. Again, everything he did was on public property at all times. So he absolutely, completely lawful to do what he did. The charges are, now the charges are slightly different to why he was arrested. Now I will come back at the end of this video and explain why I believe he was unlawfully arrested. Um, so his charges are two counts of causing fear, alarm and distress, which is the Scottish version of harassment, alarm and distress, which in the UK is a Section 5 public order offence. And for those of you watching in the United States or anywhere else for that matter is disorderly conduct or their equivalent of disorderly conduct. That's their catch-all they have in the UK is Section 5 public order offence. And if you haven't seen it on my channel, if you scroll down, you will see I've done a video about Section 5 and its reform. Um, again, I will go into the why I believe he was unlawfully arrested at the end of this video, because I want you to stay and watch all of this video, because it's important. And sorry, this thing's getting misted up again, I don't know why, but um, let's try and sort of... Right, so... These are the charges. Two counts of causing fear, alarm and distress. One count of resisting arrest. One count of having an offensive weapon. And one count of... Well, it's called Section 47. Stroke 1995. We'll come back to that because it absolutely has no bearing whatsoever on why he was arrested. Um... Right, so again, his charges are two counts of causing fear, alarm and distress, one count of resisting arrest, one count of carrying an offensive weapon, and one count of Section 47, 1995, which is, and I quote, restriction on reporting of pro proceedings involving children. Utter nonsense, because <laughs> he hasn't done that. It's as simple as that. I don't know why they've thrown that in. It's just trying to chuck as many charges at this guy as they fucking possibly can. And I'll, again, like I said, I'll come back at the end of this video as to why I think he was unlawfully arrested. And I think I've got a very, very good case for why he was unlawfully arrested. Now, law in Scotland provides the police with a Section 13 1995 Act where they can ask for your name, address, date of birth and nationality if they believe that you have committed a crime or is a, or about to commit a crime. Uh, so far, Davy's crime was taking photographs in a public place, so that's not a crime. Um, he was videoing a prison and a engineering company in between those two locations, there is a school. Now, um, I haven't seen anything on his video that shows that he recorded the school. And if he did, it's a public school. It's visible from a public place. And there is no offence of taking video of children in a public place. Um, there is, obviously, uh, filming indecent images of children. Now, that is an offence. But there's no evidence of that whatsoever. They had no reasonable suspicion that that was what he'd done. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Also bear in mind, say you're driving your car, and just to reiterate this fucking fact that some police officers don't fucking realise, and some people don't fucking realise, if I'm driving my car with my dash cam on, and I stop at a, a, a pedestrian crossing to let some children cross in front of my car... Am I committing offence by recording them? No, because there's no expectation of privacy in a public place for anybody. Anybody. Okay, so let's just make sure that's well and truly made a point. Right, in the first few videos that David uploaded after his arrest, he was already had a bad shoulder injury and he was 
having to take morphine, it was that bad. Um, thanks to the police handcuffing him behind him his, behind his back and chicken winging him, as it were, i.e. handcuffing him and then raising his arms up behind his back, uh, injured him even further. Right? When he was in custody, he was refused any medical treatment, which was a fucking atrocious fucking mistreatment of someone. Um, he's now, well, he was really suffering after the first incident, so he was back on a lot of morphine. He put up quite a few videos trying to express his frustration and anger at what had been, how he'd been treated, and, um, you know, those early videos after his arrest, you know, were sometimes, well, quite harrowing to watch, you know, I, I felt quite, you know, really sorry for the guy, you know, he'd obviously been for a lot of shit, you know, all for taking pictures in a public place. Um, now, there were, I've spoken to David at length yesterday, I spoke to him for a good hour on the telephone. Um, initially, there were private number calls to his phones, there were knocks at his door, which he didn't answer, because um, he'd published his video. Um, that can only be... Um, well, you know, it works with the retaliation stuff. So, anyway, I think what they were trying to do, um, and and this is what we spoke at length about yesterday, is you now have a position where you've got one retired gentleman, you know, he's 62 years old, uh, he sometimes has to rely on um, an electric scooter to get about, depending on how he's feeling. Um, you know, and these two police officers who are half his age slammed him up against the side of a van, wrapped his, put him in handcuffs, and then said he was resisting arrest. Um, I'm sure if that happened 10 years ago, Davey would probably put a pair of them on the floor. Uh, Davey is a self-defence expert, so and he teaches self-defence as well. So uh, They were lucky maybe they came up against him in his uh, latter life, as it were. Right, um... So, there are pros and cons to the court process. Um, one is, yes, it does take a long, it's been over a year, so just over a year that, that you know, he got arrested, or it's actually about a year he got arrested. And there are pros and cons to that. There are cons in the sense that you want to get this cleared up, get yourself found not guilty and get the fuck out of there. Do you know what I mean? I understand that. But the pros of it is it's given Davy a good year, not only to you know, go through every charge they've given him and prove everything he has, hasn't done any of the things they've said, all right? Um, so it gives you time to sort of pause, think, reflect, research, and, and go through everything to present your case. I, I believe Davey had a couple of solicitors who tried to get him to just take a plea deal if you like, drop this and we'll drop that, plead guilty to that and we'll plead guilty to this and that kind of thing. And Davey, to much respect to him, said, no, fucking way, I'm not doing it. You know, I'm not going to just sort of plead my shit. I did nothing wrong. Either you're going to defend me or you're not going to defend me. And as a result, Davey's now having to defend himself. So... A year on his confidence is through the roof. I spoke to him the other day and I can't believe the difference in, in Davey uh, after his first few videos he put out after he was arrested. He seemed like a broken guy that just didn't know what to do, where to go, how to help. You know, and he's got a massive support behind him. Um, we'll come back to that in a minute because I need your help. I need your help and so does Davey need your help, right? So his confidence is right up. I'm trying, I'm trying to read from bullet points to keep this video as short as possible because there is a lot to cover, but I'm going to try and keep it down to under 15 minutes so, so you'll get a, a good idea of what's going on. Davy's count of carrying an offensive weapon is a paracord bracelet. Now, these paracord bracelets you can buy on eBay between six and ten pounds. And they're basically a bracelet that goes around your wrist. It has a paracord, so it's about two and a half metres worth of paracord. It's got an emergency whistle, so you can blow into the whistle to attract attention if you're in trouble or whatever. It's got a compass, and it has a small knife. And it's also, I think there's a, there's different ones. And I don't know exactly which one Davy's got. But there's also one that has like a flint on it where you can start fires. 
and some of them, I'm not sure if Davies has this, but it would be irrelevant anyway, have a, literally a knife that's about two centimetres long, right? Um, just to help obviously cut things as and when you need to cut them. And this is all reserved on a bracelet that goes round your wrist, right? And you can actually see it in Davies' videos, he's actually wearing it. So um, it's not an offensive weapon, you know. A two centimetre blade is not an offensive. Now, he had a four foot fucking machete stuck down his trousers, you know, he might be in trouble. But he was carrying this and he wasn't displaying it or using it in any threatening manner. And two centimetres, you'd struggle to even draw blood with two centimetres of fucking, that's like that. You know, you'd struggle to even draw blood with that. Um, so that's another bullshit charge. Um, so let's get on to um, what I want everyone to do in this case is I think, and I spoke to Davey about this and he, he, he reiterated this himself where he said that he felt that the prosecution, the judge, um, the, the prosecution's assistants, the police, um, all think they're dealing with a guy that's on his own. He's an elderly, single man, living by himself, and they f seem to think that he's got no support, you know? And I want to prove this to them. And I want to show them how much support Davey's got. Because I know they're following this in the States, in Australia, New Zealand, in the UK. So I'm going to not monetize this video whatsoever. Because I want everybody, especially in the UK, to share this video. Mirror this video. Download it. Do what you want with it. Do your own video and put this video in a link in the description if you want to keep the video shorter. Whatever you want to do, I don't care. I don't care where you are in the world. If you're in Canada, New Zealand, Australia, America, share this video. Because this is a guy that's going through utter bullshit charges for taking pictures in a public place. Okay? So, again, there's some big channels in the UK, UK Pinaki. I'm not picking on anybody. I'm not telling you to, to, to mirror this video um, or share this video. I just want you to know that I'm asking everybody, please do it, because we need to show these people, these criminal prosecutors, these fucking criminal police officers and these potentially criminal fucking judges that this is not a guy on his own. This is a guy out there with a fucking shitload of support. Now, I went through briefly some of the UK channels, some of the smaller ones and some of the bigger ones, and there's well in excess, well in excess of 150,000 subscribers to the main big channels in the UK, and I'm not the biggest channel in the UK. So, Civil Disobedience, UK Pinaki, Focus Pocus, Current Climate, you know, you know, all big channels, um... I'd also like Charlie Veach to mirror this, and also um, uh, Danny Shine to mirror this as well, because, again, you guys are going out exactly doing what Davey does, and I know we all do things differently, I do audits, and, and you know, you guys do the free speech stuff with the megaphones and the rest of it, but without the backup of the camera, then you, you can't do your freedom of speech, because you know you're going to get tucked up by the police. And we've seen it a million times on all the videos you guys do. And I appreciate Danny Shine, appreciate Charlie Veach, you know, appreciate UK Pinaki, who's, you know, was the, one of the first guys that did audits in the UK. So I'm not the first guy to do audits in the UK. Let's clear that up. It was UK Pinaki that was the first one that did audits in the UK. Um, so everyone, please mirror, share this video, do your own video and put a link into the description of this one if you want, if it makes it quicker and easier for you, whichever way you want to do it, I don't care. Pap, you're going to share it, I know you're going to share it because, um, um, you know, you're a top lad and, you know, we appreciate all the effort and work you put into the videos that you do. Um, so, please, everyone, please share this video, please mirror this video, I will not monetize this video so that n and everybody has carte blanche permission to share this video anywhere in the world. Let's prove, let's prove to these people that Davey is definitely and by far and away not on his own. 
put a comment in the video or any other video that's shared by anybody else, put a comment, say where you're from, what country you're from, what town you're from, what state you're in, what county you're in, whatever it is. And let's try and prove to these people that, you know, this guy isn't on his own. Right, my outlook on the unlawful arrest. This is the reason why I believe Davey was unlawfully arrested. Because... At the time of the video was shot, the two police officers in the van quite clearly state, or one of the police officers quite clearly states, clearly states that under section 13 1995, he's asking for Davies' details on the basis that he com he's committed an offence, or they have reasonable suspicion that he's committed an offence. The offence quoted by the officer in the van is filming children. That is not an offence. So therefore, Davy had every right not to give his identification because filming children is not an offence, as I explained earlier. So, therefore, the arrest is then unlawful because they asked for his identification, he refused to give it, and then they arrested him under that act because he didn't want to give his identification. Because... What they were asking for his identification for was for filming children. Now, if it was an offence to film children, why hasn't he been charged for filming children? Because no law exists that says you can't film children. The bullshit excuse they put up was section 47, which I explained earlier, which is reporting on children in court cases. And that's not what any... That's irrelevant. Utterly irrelevant. So that's my outlook on why I think Davy was unlawfully arrested because he had committed no criminal offence, they had no reasonable suspicion whatsoever, and filming children isn't illegal. It's as simple as that. Whether you like it or not, and I know it throws up these connotations, and that's why the police use, oh, we've got to save the children, and all that bullshit. You know, it's not. It's nothing but. It is utter rubbish. So, again, most importantly, please like, share, subscribe to my channel and everybody else's channels as well. Please, everybody in the UK primarily, share this video. Whether you want to do your own video and, and just link this one in so the people have got the, the ins and outs and the pros and cons and um, all the information on what happened with Davey. He's going to court Monday morning, so... Please go to Davy's channel and I'll link Davy's channel into the description so you can go and send him some support, send him some subs, send him some messages of support. You know, it's just, it really does help when, and I remember when Davy got arrested, you know, I, I think it was, I think I got the video, actually, I think I got the phone call from the police to say he'd been arrested and I put a video out um, saying he'd been arrested and when he was in the police cells, he said literally with, Within half an hour of him being in the police cells and me getting the phone call that he'd been arrested, everyone was just calling the police station. Bomb, 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 bomb. And saying, you better look after the guy. You better look after the guy. We know, we know he's, in, he's in with you. You better look after him, blah, 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 blah. You know, expressing their concerns. One guy phoned from Middlesbrough and the police officer actually came into Davy's cell and said, do you know anybody that lives in Middlesbrough? And Davy said, well, not that I'm aware of, no. He said, oh, well, he just phoned us up and gave us a right good bollocking about arresting you. <laughs> Which is fucking great. Because then Davey, who was in such a fucking poor state at the time, said that that was the thing that just kept him through. Because he knew that the police had obviously contacted myself and I'd put out a video and everyone started ringing the police station and, and giving them a bit of, you know, a bit of what for. And absolutely rightly so, what for. And he said it kept him going. He just said it started making him laugh. And, you know, this is a guy that was nearly in tears and in a lot of pain to laughing his ass off during the rest of his seven-hour incarceration because he knew people were ringing up and, and giving the police some stick for what they did. And rightly so. Rightly so. So thank you for everyone for your support. Please go over to support Davey. I'll leave a link, into his, uh, a link in the description to his channel. Thanks to all those people that called when Davey was arrested and, and stuck up for him and, you know, gave the cops a bit of grief for it because they deserved it. They deserved it.
They had no reason to arrest him, absolutely none whatsoever. And I think I've proved that. Um, so anyway, thanks for your support, much appreciated. And any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll you know, do my best to answer them. But I think I've made it quite clear you know, what the hell's gone on here, and it's utter bullshit. So, again, everyone, please share the video, get it out there. You know, you guys with the bigger channels in the UK, do your bit to help someone out who's only got, like, you know, a tenth of the subscribers that you have, because if he loses his right to photograph in a public place, you will lose your right to photograph in a public place. So it's in your interest to do it as well, you know. Yeah, I'm angry about this. It is pissing me off. And it's. I mean, I'm not sticking it on you guys with the bigger channels to do it, because obviously you can do what you like. You don't have to share it. You don't have to mirror it. But, you know, think about it properly before you take a decision, because if Davey doesn't have the right, none of us has the right. Cheers, guys. Take care, and I'll speak to you all soon.